What's up, YouTube? It is Monday, May 14th. Is that what it is? And I just love when Jordan Brand wants to drop a shoe on a Monday. It's just so lovely. Today is a very, very dope shoe, in my opinion. Um, it's a Jordan 11 low, and I know a lot of people hate lows, but this low is just a little bit different than the other ones. The material on it is fire. The shoe itself is fire. The box is dope. The whole shoe is just a nice shoe. Now, I'm not a baseball fan by any means. I just don't like the sport. Um, to each its own, I'm a basketball, football type guy, whatever, whatever. But this shoe, just the color on the shoe, the way that they put the shoe together, I actually feel like I had to have this shoe. I chose not to go with the um, Cool Gray 11 Lows just because I would rather have the mids or whatever and just, I don't know. But this shoe I'm actually gonna rock with. So I'm dealing with some crazy Florida weather right now. So I'm headed to the mall to pick these shoes up. So I'm gonna go pick them up. Um, the Derek Jeter Respect Join 11 Lows. Derek Jeter Lows, the number two Lows. It's always crazy names for these shoes, but um, I'm gonna go pick them up, get them in hand, do a quick review. I know you guys seen a lot of early unboxings of them, but y'all ain't seen an unboxing from your boy. So get up close and personal with it. I'm making through this traffic. Look at what I'm dealing with right now. Like this is what I'm dealing with. Look at this. You see this? It's crazy over here in Florida. I probably shouldn't be vlogging to be honest with you driving, but I'm at a red light. So anyway, I'm gonna go pick these shoes up. We're gonna sit down, do a detailed review. And y'all can hit that like, comment, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to get um, notifications of my uh, when I drop a video and all that good stuff. Let's go get them. Them hard, I should cop me a pair. Jordan ain't the only one that's an air. As I'm walking upstairs, I prefer that you follow me up there, but you still gotta know what you wear. I'm so glad I was spared, like the very last pair. When you walk into the mall and you think they ain't there, so you say a little prayer. You don't wanna be so vain, but if I get them in my hands, I'll give them the best care. Introducing a fresh new brand, following the dreams. Faith, hard work, and dedication is the means. If they fresh out the box, then you gotta keep them clean. If the knowledge in your walk when you step on the scene Technology, ain't no apology Don't make it hard, man, it ain't trigonometry You gotta be smart when you shop Are you looking for authentic? If you are, then stop Cause you probably will regret it We say no synthetic, no synthetic If they ready, we'll let you know if you should go and get them We got fat, we got two, we have a slack What's up, YouTube? I am back, back at the pad Getting ready to actually watch these um, Warriors and the Rockets But before we do that I gotta do this quick review. Y'all seen the vlog. Y'all seen me going to pick these things up. The Air Jordan 11 Low. And I know for everybody that don't like lows. I get it. I know you don't like lows. But I feel like these are different. The Air Jordan 11 Low Derek Jeter's. Respect. Navy Blue Junts. Navy Blue Sexual Chocolates. Whatever you want to call them. Man, as you can already tell, man, this box is just completely different, unique box. Um, I know the price point was 170 but as you can see here, the price point on this one was um, $200. And I think a lot of that had to do with the, with the detail in the box. As you can see, the box has a lot of um, old Jordan designs, the pictures of uh, advertising promotions, the wing it for the Jordan 2s. The jump from the free throw line, everything, the big shot um, um, against the Utah Jazz, everything that we can remember from the Air Jordan era growing up before all you LeBron heads start saying LeBron was the GOAT is on this box. So, like I said, this box is just extremely dope. And then, of course, you got the red Jumpman logo in the, in the middle of it. So, um, yeah, it was an extra, what, 25 bucks uh, for the shoes, but the premium, the material on the shoes, in this box, this packaging coming in, I feel like it was worth it. Alright, as I open these things up, to be honest with you guys, um, I actually was not going to get this shoe. Like, I was talking to one of my um, boys about it, and, um, oh, of course, hold on. As you can see in the inside of the box, just white and black paper, not, nothing, you know, crazy about that. But, anyway, like I said, I wasn't going to get these shoes, um... As a matter of fact, I was talking to one of my boys about it, and I was just like, you know what, I'm going to fall back on it. Um, not going to be that great of a shoe, but as I started looking at people with early releases, I'm like, all right, you know what, this shoe is kind of dope because it's different. The material 
is is really nice on it. Um, it's not the traditional patent leather upper. So uh, we'll just get a, do a quick overview of the shoe. So as you can tell, first off, um, there's some detail on the shoe. Derek Jeter played for the Yankees. You know what I'm saying? This is um, He signed with Jordan Brand. And this is um, one of his, um, pretty much one of his shoes. I don't think it's anything that he's ever had come out before. This is just a different silhouette. I don't know the history behind it or anything like that. I didn't do my research because this was just like a last minute pickup for me. But anyway, um, so the Air Jordan 11 silhouette as normal. Um, you can see across the toe box and around the whole shoe. Um, the patent leather is not patent leather. It is actually like a new book or a suede. It's just real nice material. Um, as you go around the back of the shoe, um, you, you have the baby jump man, little baby jump man, and the number two. Um, I do wish these were made like always. We always do. But then again, it's a shoe that I felt like I needed in my collection. So you have the white going around the midsole. And then um, on the bottom of the shoe, you have, it's kind of like a like an off-white translucent bottom with the hints of the white tread marks on it and then the black and white carbon fiber with the white Jumpman um, logo in the middle. The shoelaces are actually, actually come with two, two types of shoelaces. You have the, um, these little, I don't know man, the ones I don't like. I don't know what type of material it is, but I hate these shoelaces. And then you have the rope blue shoelaces. I actually want to kind of do like on the, um, Cool gray ones. I'm going to put white ones in there just because I feel like it'll break up all the blue and white rope laces. So, you know, I'll do a video about that, you guys. And let me know what you think about that. Or let me know if you're doing something different with the shoelaces on them. But also, on the front of the shoe, on the left shoe, you have the um, Air Jordan, you know, sticker like it always is on the Jordan 11s. And then on the right one, you have the Respect with the two on this one. And then on the inside of the shoe, you have the shoehorn, which is blue, which I think is dope, because mostly on the 11 lows, they don't give you the actual shoehorn, but for $200, I guess you, the shoe tree, I guess you're actually paying for that or whatever. And then on this one, inside of the right one, you have the number two instead of the 23. And then on the inside of the left one, you have respect instead of the um, 23 as well, the Jumpman logo. All in all, the very dope shoe. Uh, let me know below in the comment section if you guys got it. So far, I've seen on StockX, um, just just kind of watching them throughout the day, I've seen them go from resale of 220 all the way to 280 So I've seen some highest bids, it's the 345 So I feel like that depending on the size, that they are going up as far as resale value. Um, let me know in the comment section if they're sitting around anywhere there. But I know um, at the champs that I want them at, they had like eight or nine pair, and that was it, man. Um, so you guys let me know. I, I think the resale might be actually pretty decent on these. But, yeah, man, I was able to pick mine up. You guys let me know if you was able to pick up yours. I appreciate you guys tuning in as always. It's your boy, Truth, Kicknology. Know what you wear as knowledge. You walk, look fresh, be blessed. I'm out.